Good morning, everyone. We are heading to meet up with Archie so that we can head to the Tokyo Auto Salon. This is one of the biggest custom car shows in Asia and excited to be back and check out the displays. Tonight, we're gonna have a super top secret meet and greet location for a car show, which we're gonna try to visit. Also hosted by Takashi, Kevin Carlos, and set us the invite for that. So that's gonna be tonight. And then uh, I don't know if we're gonna make our way back to RWB headquarters tomorrow. I don't know my schedule. I'm trying to juggle everything. It's just like, there's so many things to do with so little days and there's so many activities happening in so many multiple places. It's very hard to choose which ones to go to, but we are doing a exhibit also on Sunday with Ronald Ventura. We're gonna check out what Archie's doing because he's wrapping one of the RWBs that I borrowed from Nakai so that we can do a exhibit for cars and art on Sunday with Ronald and uh, RWB. And then after that, yeah, Tokyo Auto Salon. Check out some cars. We're gonna stay in the custom car booth and it's so hard for me to go to these events because sometimes the food is not so good and being vegan, being plant-based, everything is fried. Like last night I had to eat fried fish. Wasn't so happy with that, but enough of me bitching. We'll update you guys again when we get to Archie. It's been so good to be back in Japan and so good to see all the RWB members last night. I'm sorry we don't have more footage of the parking lot. It's just so cold to film and there's so many people, but I promise we're gonna get more content today. We're gonna see a lot of custom cars at the Tokyo Auto Salon. Just got out of the cab. We are in soft 99 to meet up with Archie. Let's go check it out. This is, I guess, a rap studio, just like Archie's second skin in Manila. Here, soft 99. Okay, apparently Archie's upstairs. Oh, the 993 is here. This is Toshi's 993 RWB. Hello, hello. Oh, you got the pocket. Angie, of course, because of you. <laughs> Second What's skin up? in Tokyo, Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Genki desu. I don't know what that is. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Oh, wow, this looks good. Yeah, it looks insane. I should send photos to Nakai. Yes, you should. See if he likes See it. If How he's are you guys? It or not. Second skin Manila, what's, what's up? up? Are you branching out? Yeah, we're branching <laughs> out. This is going to be your store. <laughs> Pretty cool. Archie is donning our Techno Monster backpack available on shop.angiemeetking.com page and we're just waiting for Uber. Sessie's here already. We're gonna go out in the street and look for him. He's a Belfire. There we go. Okay guys, we have arrived. Just got here. I'm gonna call Toshi to get some passes. And it's cold. Gotta go through the checkpoint, make quick work of this, and we'll see you inside. I'm with Toshi-san now. Hi, welcome to Japan. <laughs> Thank you for... Auto salon. Yes, excited to see the cars. Yeah, it's already so many people. I know, for a business day. Yeah, only it, business day, but it's only... Yeah. It's very crazy, waiting for Archie to get in, but okay. thanks to Toshi. Let's go to your booth first, okay, since, okay. since we're here for you. Okay, thank you. RWB fam, Toshi is the international director for RWB. Wow, look at this, it's a crowd of people already. Oh, <laughs> media, media day pa. Media business day. Wow. Welcome to crazy town. Yeah. We should have come earlier, but I was yeah. so tired from last night. Yeah. What time did you end last night? Oh, no, I took off like nine. Oh, you left early, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I have this. Res have responsible. Yeah. Toshi and I were at the RWB meet last night, and we're going to his booth where he has an E36 on display. So this is Toshi's display here. It's an E36 M3 with a super wide kit. Is this a touring kit or? It's a, you know, the UK designer called Kaiser. Oh, Kaiser. Yeah, he, he designed it. Oh, is he here? Yeah. So the kit is designed by Kaisa and they made it here in Japan. It looks so good. I love this body series of the BMW. It's the Touring series. And it's sitting beside a Skyline, also wide body, branded with Toshi style and then a BRZ. Excited to see all the Zs and if they have any improvement to the Z line. But Toshi, give them a follow. It's Kamiwaza. I love the fender vents you can see here. And then smooth fender. I wonder how they bonded this. 
the wheels look really good too. Wow. Hey guys, I don't know if you know who this is. This is Kaiser, who's designed the body kit for Toshi, and it looks amazing. Thank I love, you. I love Thank the you. E30 Warsteiner design yeah. theme. It's cool, right? Yes, it's very it is. cool. Yeah, it's nice because this is uh, one of two that we have in Japan uh, oh. for the first time. Oh. So over by Agredi as yes. well, Moontech have built one. Oh, nice. Um, it's an LTO body kit. Uh, which is my body kit company. Uh, so you, you, you're finally uh, doing like yeah. actual parts, yeah, so not just actual, online. No, actual parts. Yeah. Uh, we have an E36 kit. Uh, the ARC-7. E30 kit, ARC-7. I chat yeah. with Sam from Florida now. Yeah? Uh, oh, good. Uh, Gucci. Yeah, Gucci. Gucci. Gucci Garage. Motors. Yes, yeah, yeah Motors. Yeah. Yeah. And I got linked with him through HCT, the sequential gearbox oh, company. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So my friend's like, you got to meet this guy's crazy. Yeah. Also loves yeah. unique builds. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You're, um, your old V new kit, your version of that, the build, the, the kind of the sloping rear, is yeah. still my favorite. Thank my you. My absolute favorite. Thank you. Yeah. And um, what new projects are you planning this year? There's so many cars coming out, and I can't say. Oh, uh, you can't say what? No, is no I teaser. can't say. No, it's uh, <laughs> confidential. I'd probably get in trouble, but um, there are some very special projects coming out. Mm -hmm. Interesting, uh, but obviously, there'll, there'll um, if, if you guys watch Kaiser's Instagram and his YouTube, he actually does the time lapses on when he transforms a stock some car. Some old ones, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You yeah, haven't been right. updating. I should do more. I need to do more. It's, no, it's, it's actually been years. fun. It's, it's fun when years. you watch the process and you're like, you. I like the 992 conversion on the oh, on the 944. Yeah, yeah, because you're explaining like you know this yeah. doesn't look right, yeah. so we're gonna pull no, this out it's and true. it's true. So I did that with uh, I or did the Volkswagen. This, I did a series with Haggerty. Yeah, yeah, the Volkswagen also. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I love that one. What are your favorites so far in the show? Since you have the eye, obviously, for these things. Well, honestly, I haven't been able to walk around yet. I've only just left Greddy now. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna go walk around. I really want to see what's on our because yes, you know, always. I, uh, rotary, rotary. rotary yeah, we're rotary lovers. Yeah. So, so I'll go, FD Arc I'll 7 um, body kit also. Is that now for sale on the it's market? For sale also. Yes, so yes. if you guys want one in Manila, give me a ring and we'll bring it in for you. Or an E36. Or E36. I, I'd be intrigued to see how Angie builds an E36. So, how many kits are you pumping out this year? That's a better question. A few. <laughs> <laughs> I can't give direct answers. Okay, we're going to leave but, uh, it at that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So nice to meet you. Awesome, awesome. Oh yes, yes, so definitely this is the chassis that Mad Mike's using in his new drift car project. And it's for sale. We can buy this and assemble it in Manila. Go! <laughs> All sold out or are you still selling? Still selling. How much? Japanese yeah? Yeah. One fifty zero zero. No no engine. No engine, yes. One fifty zero zero million. Million. Wow, one point five million. Very yeah, cheap. Yeah, 1.5 million. Very yeah, cheap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I will find out if anyone wants it in Manila. But thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. That's so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Look how clean the shit is too. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> K series the world. Okay. We're stuck. We're not even the first haul yet. Yeah. So we're walking to RE Amamiya. RE Amamiya is famous for Mazdas. And I don't know what this little car is. It's a little K car. But here is the FD RX-7. And check this out. Project Mew always on point. Love the rotors. Wow, they finally released a black caliper. Which they, they never do. Yeah, yeah. Checking out the trust booth. The Blitz booth looks very vanilla, so we're passing through that. Something caught my eye here. There's a simulator inside a van. <laughs> That is hilarious. Oh my God, guys. So when I'm on the way to the racetrack, this is what I want to bring me there with so I can practice. I always say I didn't like the new NSX, but I love race cars and this ticks the bucket list. Up Garage has this beautiful race car on display here at the show. That's something I like. The 
Dino from Speed Hunters. <laughs> oh, hey, hello. How, how, are you you? how are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. You made Dino it. is here. I keep looking at your videos. You're like all over the place. And I now know, you're we're in, Japan. in LA. <laughs> Dino is my good friend Archie. Hey, nice meeting you. Hey, nice meeting you. Dino from Speed Hunters. Archie wraps uh, my cars back in Manila. Oh, nice. We got some great news. Dina from Sweet Hunters is going to be visiting Manila end of January, which means this vlog might not be out yet. <laughs> I'm so slow to edit. I'm always like a month back on edit. But you do it fast though. I know, when I'm really excited, I do it on my own. There's a sauna in the back of that truck. So we haven't even scratched the surface of Hall 1 and we're already blown away. Mind blowing? Are you mind blown yet? Yeah, super, super. <laughs> wow, the cars here are crazy. So, okay, we're gonna breeze through. Look at Vogue Racing here. I don't know what they have. There's a lot of BRZs now on display. Obviously, R35s are still a thing. I think you gotta up your rap game, bro. I don't think this is a wrap. Though. That's a wrap for sure. It's a textured wrap. I don't think it's a wrap. How well, how else would you do it? I want to touch it. That's oh, beautiful. You have some certain part is by 3D printing. Fitment issue here. Yeah. <laughs> but wow, handcrafted. Oh, it's a handcraft focus. R34 here in top secret, but this it's my favorite, the R32, and I promise I'm gonna start on my R32 this year. Gotta oh, make it happen. Okay, this is cool. I wonder if Nissan's gonna make an F1 car. F1, F3, I don't know what Formula Series Formula. this is. Oh, it's an electric car. It's an E, Nissan, Formula E. E, electric car. E for electric. Race car, R35. Nothing like a super GT car. Finally made it to Hall 4, checking out this super slam Ferrari Pista. What is this wing on this Pista? I don't know. Do you guys like the wing? I think the wing is way too much. Look at that. It's like super cambered, super slam, obviously running air suspension because that it's insane for a pista. Interior is a red and yellow. I don't know if I like the wing. I think the wing's bad. Look at the knit blocks in the back for the sunshade. Look at that. Knit, knit curtains. Check out the back. Yes, there it is. Century. So if you guys watch options video, this is Ken Nomura. He has Uras. That's his parts. He's gonna be in Manila soon. And this is his drift car. This has been his drift car for the longest time. So cool. We're barely, barely in hall two and we're already getting hungry. So we're gonna try to make a pit stop on hall five and then grab some lunch and then try to continue up to hall 10 because I do have other friends waiting in hall nine and 10. Hopefully we bump into Mad Mike. I don't know if Mad Mike's here, but he should be here. And then maybe Liberty Walk Kata, but usually Kata is super busy, so it's gonna be hard to have a chat and a photo with him. And then Maya Orido, the daughter of Max Orido. Uh, she's also at Hall 10, super big fan of her. I don't know who else we wanna bump in while we're here. We'll see. I think Larry Chen is somewhere in here also, so we're gonna see if we can get a quick interview with him. But this is now Hall 4. This little gangster car. I have no idea what people are gathering here for. I have no idea what cars these are. Why are people here? <laughs> I know, absolutely no clue what these cars are. But it seems to be that everyone's here. Oh my god, is this a Hummer? It is a Hummer. It's not. No, it's not the H1. I'm confused what this is. Maybe it's a Mega Cruiser. What is happening to this? Laid frame? And I'm so confused right now. That's <laughs> crazy. I'm confused. That genuinely mind me. That was a Suki Jimny that they cut up and put the Escuda engine in it and made it look like a Hummer. It's super crazy. The shit you see in Japan, I love it. Oh, another race car. Hello, race car. Nothing in Honda to see. Race cars are lit. What is that? The SVJ. Candy red on the SVJ. LED daylight section. Look at the light show. Some pretty interesting models. And are you gonna turn on? Boom. And there's a Mazda Miata set right here. I don't know which roadster this is, but BRZ. STI. Okay, here now with Rico. Rico has flown his cars in to display. Rico's with the RWB club and this car was in SEMA. 
So Rico has a Targa and built the engines, got the Rasant also intake, and he brought his 240Z. This is Rico right here. Rico showing off his car. Hey! Hello you again! Thank you for coming. Hey, I appreciate you coming by. I didn't know you shipped your cars halfway across the globe. <laughs> Your SEMA cars. This is uh, Rico's meeting in Tokyo to Ah, oh, love it. Okay guys, this is the absolute insanity of what is Japan. And I do not understand what is happening here, but there's a seat somewhere in there. And see air suspension is dropped to the ground. <laughs> I don't know what kit that is, that Bozu Soku style also. So crazy. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love it. Is that a shotgun on the roof? Oh. There's a shotgun inside. And then they put a TV inside. <laughs> So here's the rear of this contraption. Oh my god, there's a seat in front of that engine. Some airbags. Actually not airbags, it's cantilever suspension with some interesting hydraulics. There's air suspension on the frame. So the frame is the one that moves up and down. Okay, back to Rico's cars. This is 240C and Rockin' Cali plate. And his RWB is here also. He's super busy with his fans, but we'll circle back maybe and maybe not. This is a seriously cool looking Civic. Super race car. Wild. Look at that design. Fender flare. Aero work is immaculate. Wow, look at that. I usually don't promote Red Bull F1, but here it is. is intense. This is the Honda, Honda equipped. F1. I wonder what year chassis this is. This says no name on it. Oh, oh my god. But no, you can't have two names in one car. But we're gonna blur that Red Bull. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we decided not to take a break because the crowd is going to shuffle in in the next hour. And I love this color lineup. We're gonna paint the next RWB project in a gold color. Maybe a tad lighter, but that's cool. That's literally cool. <laughs> It's cool, baby. Look at those side flicks. It's got a rear flick. It's got a side fender flick. I wonder what kit this is. It genuinely looks cool. Passing by the AMG booth because Archie and I love our Benzes. Benz, 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 but straight to the GT3 car. The GT3 car is everything. This is obviously the new GT3 car. If you guys haven't watched my video on my SLS GT3, it's also a Benzo. The new Benz Daylight looks interesting, but that looks awesome. What model is this? I don't even know. Is this a new SL? Wow, it's gotten way bigger. Okay, but Archie pointed our eyes to this glorious baby. This is a 488 GT3, probably a GTE car. And oh my God, Ferrari forever. This is a winning car, dominated the series, that's why the Pista Pilotti is based off this car. And one day, I still want to build this car, it looks so sexy. We can get this kit from VAD also. You can see the intercoolers inside. The aim gain booth, always nice. I don't know why you would put the lip in front of the car. The tracks from getting nice photos of the car. And then, lighting should always be side lighting. But, oh, and a wide body estate so too. Cool. That's pretty cool. And their Alphard going up and down on air suspension. I don't know if I'd ever slam my Alphard, but this is a moving car. Let's go up, let's go down. I love the programming, it's just cycling. These are regular staples here at the auto show. It's the Tarovsky plated Benzes. It's so funny. Do you like disco disco, my friend? Disco disco. Good, good. We're here now at Mazda. Checking out what's new, making through the crowd. What is this? It's a race car, okay. It's an anti Miata. It's got some fender flares on it and it's got a roof conversion. Oh my god, good thing we didn't skip this line. This is a full carbon R32 GTR. We've seen a lot of this on Instagram. You guys can't see it properly in the video, but this is carbon, carbon, carbon. Inside a beautiful R32 in a carbon purple tint. Look at that. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. I should sell the Pandem kit and get one of these guys. Should I? Should I not? 
Okay guys, I'm officially selling my Pandem kit so I can order this kit. That was a one second decision. I right know. <laughs> my ADD is just like, I like carbon. Active full dry carbon GTR, definitely. I think we're gonna have to do this. I don't know if my work wheels will fit this, but whatever, we'll work it out. Mm. Bad idea, good idea. Let me know in the comments down below. Would you rather see a Pandem R32 GTR or would you rather see Full a carbon. full carbon active R32 GTR. I think everyone's gonna go for the latter. So guys, it's for sale. I know, I'm gonna sell the Pandem kit with the work wheels so I can order some new spec. Give them a contact and see how to get this done. Oh wow, a Safari 996. This is the first Dakar. It's a Boxster. It's not even a 996, but it's a Safari mode. And it's for sale, guys. It's for sale. Do you want a Japan car? That's so cool. I finally made it to Hall 7. So this is where the crazy booth should be. I'm hoping we see Kato's booth here. This is the Wald booth. Wald always has some cool stuff. Check out those wheels. What is up with those wheels? Interesting design. Black Bison's been a Wald staple. I love it. That is beautiful. Even Keith tagged me with the Black Bison Alphard kit. And he's like, let's build it. I go, no, leave my Alphard alone. The new GX Prada. Joust. So this is Archie's booth. This is the Bond group where Inositec is. Oh, MV Forge. I wonder if Ivan and David are here. Bumping into our fellow Filipino car enthusiasts. Jeff's with XLR, Rafi is with Parts Pro. Apparently the boots we want to hit are in the North Hall. Yeah, which means we <laughs> gotta pick up the pace. I have a feeling Liberty Walk's not here. I don't hear any crazy noise. Robertura always has crazy cars. They have a SF90 Spider. Look at that. And then MC20, oh, oh, wow. This is worth slowing down <laughs> and taking baby steps for. Look at that. Okay, that is the rubber tour boot. They're actually much smaller this year. Before we head to Liberty Walk, there's a nice Aston here. That looks good. That's super sexy with the wheels. And then we have the classic E30 M3. The special car that made motorsports great for M Division. And we are coming to one of the highlights for the Tokyo Otsalon, which is the Liberty Walk booth. Which means we're gonna see the F40. It's behind the crowd of people already. I think there's no music now because it's media day and they understand that you need to film. So look at this crowd that Liberty Walk always generates. And it's not that they have the RX-7 with the renowned livery. They have the R34 here. The F40 is right here, but there's a sea of people that we can't see the car. There's two more that they're unveiling. What is it going to be? Yeah, that's the new Murcielago design, and then I think the new Aventador design. No way. The over glorified hybrid Aventador. Wow. That's pretty. <laughs> The shape of the headlight is actually what the new Technica headlight for the Huracan is based off and the Revuelto. That was the design cue that they studied with this car. And it's nice that you can walk around this car, probably a $3 million car. Nice spec. It reminds me of the Lamborghini SV color. And then the rear of this car is insanity. Look at that. So beautiful. Louis Gono in the house. Looking so Japan right now. <laughs> Normally you don't make it that far, but today? <laughs> you made it here. And the 935 there. Okay, okay. Kazuki. Kazuki's car. Okay, definitely. North Hall it is. Thank you, Luis. Bye. Bye seeing you, bro. Okay. We're saying hi to our work wheel. Now, the work wheel booth looks similar. What display do they have? Another BMW. All the booths have 
of them. An R35. If you guys don't know, I am the work official dealer for the Philippines and uh, there's another dealer also but we do carry the wheels and distribute them. If you guys ever want some work wheels for your car, hit us up. Carpon Racing. Everything's new but is there anything favorite? I like I like that. That looks like the old Weds. Lorenza wheels. Lorenza, yes, yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna film all the wheels because you can see that all online but yes, this is the 2024 new wheel arrival and there's a lot. We're gonna wait for official photos from them so we can post, but I can see some interesting designs already. These are for the SUVs. The Genosis has been one of my favorite, but we're gonna do some workmeisters on another project because we love work. Here's some sideline Liberty cars that did make it to the main booth. Solid paren, Hako forever. And then yeah, he's got the Z here. It's a Ventador with a change light. That diffuser is sexy. And then we have the McLaren over here. Okay, making our way down. There's a drift event happening somewhere there. There's some smoke. Smell of rubber, baby. I wonder if that's part of the show. Okay, guys, I've never made it this far, but we are here. All nine. Ah, I see. It's all the funky cars. All right, let's go down. Getting hungry, but we're gonna power through, bring you guys some more content, and then call it a day. So we finally made it to Hall 9. Oh, Forgot to turn on my audio, but it's, look at this car. Yeah, Lightning McQueen, baby. So if there's any place Mad Mike would be, it would be in this section. And I don't know if we have a chance to see him, but it's getting crazy and it's only 2 p.m. I don't know if we're gonna stick around to go back to Liberty Walk and see what they're unveiling or make our way out. But walking down now, oh my god, sensory overload. watch all my videos you know I have one of these guys which I custom built myself and stuff in Manila and this is hydrogen powered insane what is that I'm so curious that's too cute okay another race car to look at the Z that is Zex Z Okay, that is a race kit. This is the quirky part of Japan. Hiya! There are so many questionable things about this. There's a side exhaust. What is happening? I'm guessing they're an exhaust shop and they're trying to showcase all their exhaust tips. I hope there's jet turbines. What kind of exhaust do you want? Yes, on everything. Yes. We're here now in the Max Arito booth and we have Maya Arito. Hello! I want to buy something but I don't want to buy something. <laughs> so we just came from the Darwin Pro booth and the Huracan was interesting. I just couldn't record audio because they were playing music. The car is a Technica base or an Evo base and they changed everything. So this is the Kazuki Mad Lane 935. Let's check this out. Check this car out guys. This has been years in the making. I actually don't know who Kazuki Mad Lane is. I think he's the guy in the corner. I wonder if that's him there. This is Kazuki, this is Archie. Hello. Nice to meet you. He's the creator, four years in the wow. making. Check this out guys, privileged access. This is so insane. Full slick tires. Kazuki is planning to track this car. Will you carbon everything? Uh, yeah. yeah. I, 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 <laughs> Crazy, crazy. I love I love the turbo fan yeah. wheels. Wow. Material material carbon? Soon. Soon. Yeah. Are you planning to sell this kit or no? Just mm, <laughs> maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. Yeah. Wow, it's so crazy. Oh my god, center lock BBS. So sexy. Check out this race interior. 
got pedal box, 12 carbon, looks like PDM system. I don't know what the gearbox is. Let's find out. So crazy guys. Exclusive look. Thanks to Kazuki, we follow each other on Instagram. This is static too, just to let you guys know. We're running a sequential gearbox. It's gonna take it to track and it's so good. This is still one of the most iconic cars. A85. Look at the huge intercooler. SR20. Slam Ferrari over here. What is happening here? Suicide doors on anything makes it look cool. Toretto, are you here? <laughs> Skyline Heaven, 32, 33, 34, soft form, but they have a 400R. We're gonna make our way around it. Active Red, GTR V-Spec, that is the car. Walking around, they have the GTR V-Spec Nürburgring Bayside Edition, that's so good. Um, that's, there it is. Right beside the V-Spec is the 400R GTR, it's the R33, and this is, Supposedly one of the best, baddest, most limited edition GTRs here. Wow, wow, wow. There's so much people already, but the Bayside Blue and this Midnight Purple are wow. Oh my god, even the Millennium Jade, I like that color. Oh my god, R34 Heaven, they're hoarding everything here. It is so beautiful. Okay, we are moving. We're going back to Liberty Walk and then we're gonna get out of here and have late, late lunch. Oh, I'm so tired. Early dinner, late lunch. We'll eat for three people. I'll eat for two. <laughs> for one. And I'm so lucky, I got a photo. The Filipinos were hoarding <laughs> Maya Rito and I jumped in and asked her a photo. I didn't buy anything, I feel so bad. But bucket list check. We didn't see Larry or we didn't see Mad Mike, but I'm getting gassed. Okay, I'll be there. Back to Hall 8. Okay guys, so we're headed to the Liberty Walk booth. So that's the Liberty Walk booth happening. Look at the crowd. We're gonna try to brave the crowd and see if we can get some shots of the cars. Let's go. Okay, one of the problems is uh, they're playing music. So we're just gonna B-roll all of this, guys. 